against that legislation. And against that legislation, I think, uh, is legislation that will bring about a sea change in the minds of our young people. Many of our young people, as you know, are not doing well in school, primarily because they're not learning anything that affects their lives. They're not learning anything about what African Americans have done to make this country and this world great. Every positive thing that African Americans have done has been eliminated from the regular curriculum. And when I was in the state legislature, I said we had to put a stop to that. Our children and all children need to know of the contributions that African Americans made to make this country what it is. So I uh, introduced the legislation in 1998, and in 2002 the legislation was passed. Uh, and now, we've been, for the last almost 10 years, we've been fighting to have the curriculum, uh, social studies curriculum for the state of New Jersey rewritten. And what we say is we're going, uh, we're reconceptualizing the history and the social studies of this nation so that we will be able to incorporate into the regular history of this country the contributions that African Americans have made, not just in February, when there's the shortest month of the year we talk about what black people have done, but very from the all year round we need to teach and we will teach that African Americans have had a significant role to play in making this country what it is. We start with the Revolutionary War, if you will. During the Revolutionary War, I think all of us have learned about the Revolutionary War and about Major Pitcairn and about the Battle of Bunker Hill. Well, we were never taught that at the Battle of Bunker Hill, for example, there were black soldiers in the Revolutionary War fighting for the United States in the Revolutionary War. There were black soldiers were fighting with the Minutemen. And that what happened was that at the Battle of Bunker Hill in particular, a black soldier by the name of Peter Salem led a group of soldiers, black soldiers, and they're the ones that defeated this great uh, British major, Major Pitcairn, at the Battle of Bunker Hill. That has never, ever been taught. So therefore, black youngsters going to school think that we had nothing to do with it, and therefore, why should we have any pride in it? The fact is that we were there. White youngsters feel that they, done, they did it all. So this is what Amistad legislation does. It now incorporates in the regular uh, history of our country, the regular social studies of our country, the contributions, the role that African Americans have played. It was not just Europeans that made this country what it is. Unfortunately, the curriculum is Eurocentric. It's written from a European perspective, and therefore everything black was negative, everything white was positive. Amistad will change that, and I, we need every single parent, every single organization such as POP or the NAACP to call upon the state of New Jersey, the Department of Education, and the governor to implement, to make sure that this uh, bill is passed. Because I truly believe that our youngsters will say, if we did that, so can I, that we had something to do with this nation, that we made this nation, and I can do it too. I really believe that our young people, our young men in particular, will pull their pants up to the waist and say, you know what? We did that, and not only in the old the, the days of uh, early history, but in modern history. The, every single traffic light that we stopped for should keep in mind that an African American invented the traffic light. That every single time you see a traffic light, not only in this nation, but around the world, a black man, a black man uh, was the one, Garrett Morgan was the one that invented the traffic light. We need to talk about blood plasma. Blood plasma was developed by uh, Dr. Charles Drew. Dr. Charles Drew was a black doctor who came up on uh, the life-saving blood plasma where people who needed blood transfusions, etc., they were able to get it as a result of Dr. Charles Drew. And we hear a lot of talk these days about uh, open-heart surgery. Well, open-heart surgery, the very first successful operation on the human heart was by a black doctor, Dr. Daniel Hale Williams. Every child, every person needs to know the truth about the contributions that African Americans have made alongside other people. And when that happens, when that happens, I am certain that African American youngsters will hold their heads up high and say, I can do that too. We need to teach and that changes the, the brainwashing that we have gotten that African Americans have done nothing. We have done so much more than anybody will teach. Amistad will teach that. Not only, as I said, the black youngsters, but the white youngsters as well. We, uh, we have spilled blood, we being African Americans, have spilled our blood in every single war this nation has ever fought, including the Civil War. When I went to school, they gave me the impression that blacks just stood on the sidelines while whites fought for our freedom. The fact is that over 200,000 blacks fought in the Civil War for our freedom. Our children need to know that so we can hold our heads high and say we fought for our freedom as well. And so we have to change the distortions that we have here now and to make sure that all Americans know that African Americans have paid a big price to make this country what it is. 
Amistad legislation will take care of that. And I'm asking everybody in the community to contact the Department of Education. I'm asking every church, every minister, every organization to contact the Department of Education, to contact the Commission of Education to say, it is the law now. It is the law now. We want this law implemented. And until that happens, we will not see it. But I, it, the power is in our hands. And it's power that we can, in fact, bring about the implementation, the full implementation of uh, Amistad legislation throughout the state of New Jersey and throughout this country, as a matter of fact. If someone wants to get in touch with you to find out more about the Amistad bill, where can they reach you? Well, uh, I'm, a, I'm a commissioner with the Amistad Commission. We currently have, as I say, an executive director uh, by the name of Stephanie James Wilson, who is responsible for the day-to-day -day operation and training of people there. Uh, Stephanie Wilson is in the uh, Department of Education, New Jersey Department of Education in Trenton, New Jersey. And I would recommend that people just look up uh, and I look up the New Jersey uh, Amistad Commission, look up Stephanie James Wilson, contact her, and also contact the Office of the Commissioner uh, of Education, uh, and, and they will be able to get the information as well. My information can be found on, on my, my website, is uh, WDP01 uh, at yahoo.com. That's, uh, that's my email address. Right now. But I, I can be contacted there, and I will be very happy to distribute the information that's necessary. We can make this happen. We, we need to also contact every legislator who is currently in the state legislature. Make sure that they carry on where we where I left off when I left here in 2008. Thank you.